the Great Lakes region of Africa. For decades, this part of the world has witnessed successive wars and conflicts that have claimed the lives of millions of people. This long period of instability has caused significant population movements and intense social tension. The political situation has since improved. However, young people are still facing a lack of employment and training opportunities. Peace through sport programs have become a platform to foster a culture of peace and social cohesion, as well as a pathway for youngsters to get support and education. Since 2007, Peace and Sport has focused its efforts in the Great Lakes region to use sport as a tool to strengthen intercultural, interethnic and international dialogue between youngsters from Burundi, Rwanda and the DR Congo. In cooperation with national and international sport federations and institutional partners, it provides technical guidance, financial and material support and capacity building to six youth training centres throughout the year. Following a year of training and preparations, young athletes from the training centres come together for the biggest annual event in the region, the Friendship Games. The Friendship Games are a three-day multi-sport event organised by Peace and Sport along with the respective host country's National Olympic Committee. This year, the Games take place in Bujumbura, capital of Burundi. On the eve of the Games, the preparations for the event intensify. After a journey that has taken several hours, the young athletes finally arrive at the training centre. They will now have to rest and get ready for three exciting days of sport competitions, peace workshops and cultural exchanges. You can see them training here with champion for peace Pascal Gentil. And here, learning about the new discipline of street baseball. In the days ahead, they will participate in more than 12 disciplines, which you can find on your right-hand side all designed around the concept of Sport Simple. A concept that aims to promote a sport for all approach by adapting sporting practice areas, equipment and rules to fit the available resources and environment. The Peace Workshops promote team building through simple practices. In this instance, how team effort can help us overcome seemingly impossible challenges. During the opening ceremony, various stakeholders address the crowd and then everyone participates in a symbolic peace walk. This is of great importance as the event also aims to mobilize a variety of actors around the role of sport as a tool for social change, such as international federations, champions for peace, national Olympic committees and local authorities. Over the years, an increasingly large audience has attended the Friendship Games to follow the array of sporting activities. Like here, where you can watch a judo practice on your left and karate on your right. The closing ceremony marks the end of this year's edition and rewards the young athletes' efforts both on and off the field of play. They will meet again next year to celebrate together the power of sport to bring peace.